Today we are finishing up preparations for the winter tot and the first skill cape of the account. We still need to get a decent construction and fletching level as well as need to get other things like a house, some crafting for games necklaces, and most importantly 50 fire making. But before we get in, I did want to let everybody know that I have a discord. If you enjoy the content that I make and want to be in a community with myself and other viewers, then feel free to join. The link is in the description and while you're down there, feel free to subscribe if you've been liking the series so far. But for now, it's time to finish preparing for the winter tot. Welcome to the All Capes Iron Man. We're doing some uh, last minute prep for Winter Todd. I meant to do this uh, a couple days ago, but was not able to find the time. Um, but yeah, we're going to do some last minute prep for Winter Todd. Still have to get 50 fire making, still need to get a house built and everything. So we're just going to start off with some real nice chill wood cutting fire making. Going to switch over to Teaks the moment I hit level 35 uh, wood cutting. But yeah, just gonna spend a little bit of time. I only have 15 levels to go here. I need to remember to actually make myself more careful now because I've been playing on my iron, which doesn't have that death limitation. So I've been going in, throwing at myself at things willy nilly. Need to need to take a step back. Remember that this is a hardcore and that I need to play this like a hardcore. So gonna be a constant reminder i'm really gonna have to play it super safe when i'm at winter tot i need to figure out a better food source because i have cakes and i have chocolate cake but 26 hp with cakes is a little bit sus if i end up getting below six six is the max hit that winter tot can do to me i did a calculator six is the max hit because of the brazier or not the brazier the uh, area of effect attack so I need to make my make sure that I'm above six HP at all times. And it takes a while for a cake to restore six HP because I have to click it twice and go through the cooldown of uh, of eating the cake. So might need to figure out if there's a way to get uh, to get like salmon or something a better food. All right. So we have about after this inventory of logs we have another two inventories to go with oak logs and then we can graduate to teaks i'm hoping it is early enough to where we can find an open world at castle wars but who knows it's 9 20 a.m uh it's a holiday in america it's a holiday in canada we'll see we'll see actually how bad the server load is <laughs> You've got the cape slot wiki pulled up, but you don't want to count them all. Yeah, it's it's a lot. I that that'll be something I have to do. I already know there are 53 team capes, including zero X and I. There are 53 team capes for the Wildy. And my plan for that is once I get once I pull team cape zero or team cape X or I, if I pull any of the team capes from a clue. Then I have to go through and get every single team cape in the wilderness in order because I did take a look at the Edgeville uh, team cape guy and uh, I'm going to have to do a big circuit because he doesn't sell like one, two, three, four, five. He sells 11, 21, 31, 41. <laughs> I'm like, OK, I have to actually do a full circuit, a full loop around the wilderness 10 times in order for me to get every cape. And that's, I feel like could be really fun. That That's an entire video on its own. <laughs> 39 fire making, let's go. 11 more levels and then we're there. All right, one more inventory of trees. Uh, one more inventory of trees plus one log. And we are good to start on uh, Teaks. Where else are Teaks? There's, I know Apatol and Prif are out because I just flat out don't have access to either place. Is it really just uh, Castle Wars and Uzer that have Teaks? If so, that's a yikes. Isle of Souls. Oh, that's a good shout. That's a really good shout. Oh, I need to take a look at that location then, because that actually might be better than um, Uzer. The northern part of Isle of Souls, and there are three trees up there as opposed to the one tree at castle Wars. yeah isle of souls is way better yeah we're gonna go there there's nothing dangerous on this island right let me let me at least just have the teleport ready just in case okay how far do i actually have to travel oh that's so far okay there are the teaks man they stick out like a sore thumb across or compared to all these other trees they at least like stylize the use to look similar to these style trees but the teaks they just, they just stick right out 
Same thing with the mahogany's. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> That's really funny to me. All right. There is one person here and they are two ticking. I just got to take this tree. So that way I am not interfering on what this guy is doing. XP waste. <laughs> no. This moment right here is XP waste. If I really didn't want to XP waste, I'd have an herb, I'd have tar, I'd have a pestle border, and I'd be two ticking this thing. <laughs> Though I don't know if I even can two tick with my levels and gear. Can a steel axe and 35 wood cutting two tick a teak? That is that is a uh, tongue twister right there. <laughs> Burn your logs while I wait for it to re <laughs> regrow. <laughs> that is a good point. That is a good point. I could have done that. Hey, a bird's nest. I hope I don't get, it's gonna sound weird, but I hope I don't get many because I want to avoid banking as much as I can. Yeah, I'm thinking in like two hours, we might be able to uh, take on Winter Tot. And then we will never have to worry about chopping teaks again. We are on the fastest XP per hour method to get this taken care of. It's just gonna take a while. Apologies that this is exactly the most thrilling content. But then again, neither will Winter Dot. I kind of expect this stream to be very, very chill. Thinking about mashing again, what's my consistent mash speed? Uh, consistent is probably 15 to 16. My fastest is like 18. Uh, button press is a second. Now let's find out. I don't know, what does that sound like to you? data observed <laughs> hey chaos runs i'll take that that's why we do random events oh boy only 508 more logs to go <laughs> it's gonna take a while uh you're home now where can you send that casket uh do i have a discord server i do i actually think you're in one <gasps> no way no shot <laughs> I just got a beaver? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, we are sending this to the Discord and I am posting a big giggle to Zach. <laughs> believe that i cannot believe that that actually just happened i i wasn't even recording well i had the stream but i wasn't local recording holy shit <laughs> oh my god that's so funny <laughs> spoon yeah absolutely i am spooned here how how do i keep on how do I keep on getting these stupid drop rate pets? Okay, what's my what's my wood cutting level? Level 39. Let's do some math here. After I do this, after I do this uh line of fire making, we're gonna do some math. I wanna know just exactly what the drop rate was on this particular beaver and uh figure out just how scared I should be for end game grinds. Stupid drop rate pets because streamer. It actually is what it is. It's the streamer luck. Oh my god, the streamer luck is real. <laughs> okay. So base chance on a teak tree is 264,336. The actual uh, uh, calculation for it is base level minus uh, my level times 25. So I'm at 39 wood cutting right now. It's 39 times 25. 975. So that was a one in 263,000 drop chance for me to get it from a teak at the level that I'm at. That's not the rarest pet that I've gotten, but that's the second rarest pet. The rarest pet I've ever gotten. Actually, let me double check one more pet because this actually could be second or third. I've gotten three really lucky skilling pets. So that is the second rarest pet that I've gotten. My first rarest pet was a heron on my main that I got from Karambwanji at like level 60 fishing. And that calculated out was a one in 500,000 chance. 
So I have a one in 500k pet on one account, a one in 300 or one in 263k pet on this account, and then I've got the giant squirrel on the iron, which is a one in like roughly 30k. That is that is absurd. <laughs> that is a little bit absurdly lucky. Well then, we have a mascot now. <laughs> Whew, still got that adrenaline flowing through me. <laughs> oh my god. Huh. This account's been blessed. That's all that means. This account is blessed. Okay, so we only have about 200 logs left until we hit level 50. Been a long one. Really should have done this grind off stream, but I've been having fun. <laughs> Hey, got a healthy cat. Let's go. Okay, I have a full cat. Let me let me go ahead and finish chopping this inventory. We'll cook the inventory and then go trade out cats. So what do I need? I need six bolts of cloth, I think, for daddy's home. Which is the only reason why we haven't done it till now, because I haven't had the money for that. I really overspent that initial 10k. That's partially why I want to do Winter Tot so early, is because uh money. You get money from Winter Tot, just cold hard cash. And uh having a couple hundred K would be really, really nice. I'm also trying to figure out when I should do the uh 43 prayer grind. That that's gonna be extremely important to do sooner rather than later. I also need to get some, uh, some charges for the Chronicle. I'm getting very, very low. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at these. That's gross. That's also gross. Uh, Bob's Brilliant Axes. I need Bronze Axe and Leather Boots. Okay. We'll do that. We'll do that after I finish the, uh, clue grind. And we'll stick this pet right here. Nice. Yeah, while I'm here, I'm gonna... Yeah, may as well just do Daddy's Home while I'm in Varrock. It won't take very long. Uh, let's just look it up. Da da. Daddy's Home. Yep, just need five bolts of cloth. And another kitten. What kind? Oh, it's like a blue cat. Interesting. Okay. New cat, new cat, new cat. So, regale us about this quest, and we're about to embark on considering a daddy and his home. Uh, there's a guy whose house is a little bit messed up, a little bit broken, and so we're gonna go in and fix it. That's it. That's literally it. The main reason why we do this is because I'm pretty sure we get a house for free for doing this. And we also get construction experience and construction supplies. Uh, I need five of these. Yes, perfect. And construction, the reason why we need construction right now is that Winter Tot is not just a fire making activity. Uh, there are a couple other skills that also get trained along with it. There's mainly wood cutting, fletching, and construction. And construction is uh, done by repairing the braziers that are going to be in that boss fight itself. Um, but if you only have level one construction and if you don't have a house, then you're not allowed to fix the braziers. So we're trying to try and get around level 20 construction. So that way, not only can we fix the braziers, but we also get a little bit more XP for doing so because it scales based on your current level. So that, that's the entire reason why we are doing this, is so that way I can get some passive construction experience while I do Winter Dot. We now know where this guy lives. Time to uh, time to deliver a hit. We're gonna take this guy out. This is this suddenly turned into a Hitman game. Varrock is a Hitman level. That actually would be interesting. Designing Varrock around it being like a Hitman 3 level where you have to like kill the king or something or kill the uh, wizard that's in Reldo's library. That would be, that'd be fun. <laughs> I'd play that. I'd play the shit out of that. We're just taking out this guy's entire house. All right, sir, you have no more furniture in your, in your uh, room. You have none of it. 
Wow. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize that this gave me just a straight up tutorial on how the skill of construction works. So like half the quests of this game are mundane things to help people write. You're not the only one who notices. Oh, not at all. Uh, like, like, like that's, that's exactly what this game is. It's just me doing whatever to help, to help these guys. Like nobody in this game actually works for themselves. It's all me just going in and trying to help as best I can. Ooh, I almost ran out of nails. All right. There we go, 400 construction XP. I have a house in Remington as well as a crate of supplies. Let's go ahead and just drop that. Don't need that. So we just went from level one to level eight construction really quickly. Nice. How many things do I actually get from this? Okay, that's, that's a good bit of supplies. Why do I have a Thaldor teleport tab? Okay. All right, awesome. This is actually like a really, really nice set of supplies here. Time to head back over to uh, the uh, teak trees and finish off the wood cutting and fire making grind. All right, so we have 44 actions left until we get to 49 fire making. So that is two inventories of these logs. And then we'll have one more level after that. And then we'll be done wood cutting for now. I cannot wait until we are done wood cutting. Very happy we're almost done with this part. I always forget how long this takes. Two more inventories after this. Dang, I thought I wasn't gonna be getting another wood cutting level, but it looks like I will be. And that's level 50 fire making. We are now able to enter the Winter Tots prison. What's the best way for me to get to where I need to go? Because I also need to get planks. Um, best place for me to get planks right now, from what I'm thinking of, is Backstorian Falls. So we're going to go ahead and head that direction, which is going to be a bit of a walk. But at the same time, I can also start Dwarf Cannon while we're up here. I think I just need a hammer. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and fix this guy's fence. Come on, you can do it. Fix the thing, please. Oh my god. How am I having such low health? Come on! Fix the thing! Thank you. Only four more to go. There we go. See? Let's do, let's do more of that. Alright, there we go. Now we fix the railings. Now we can continue the quest. Alright, now to go find a dwarf. Oh boy, a skeleton! We have dwarf bones! Alright, now to go find a baby dwarf. I'm gonna have this at the ready, just in case I need to emergency teleport away. I don't think I'll need to, but I'm also not at full health, so better safe than sorry, right? Do these guys, are these guys aggressive? I don't think they are. They're not the hobgoblins. Oh no, they are aggressive, okay. Look at him go! All right, just save the dwarf. Now I gotta do like two more things in this quest and then I'm done. The unfortunate part, is that I am going to have to make a pit stop to Falador, which is going to take a bit of time. I may as well grab the teleport tablet. I mean, like, when else am I going to be using that Falador teleport tablet other than this exact specific situation right here where I need to very quickly go to Falador for just a brief moment? Yeah, I'll, I'll run down and grab that tele tab. It'll be a bit of a... I wouldn't say a waste. It'll be a very strategic usage <laughs> of a teleport tablet which I cannot make for several more levels. All right. And now we've effectively finished Dwarf Cannon. Just have to go hand in this ammo mold and then we are done. And we'll see if that puts me up to level 22 crafting. If it does, great. If not, then I have one more quest that I can do in this area very easily. Almost there. End of the quest is in sight. Level 12 crafting, okay. So we are going to need to do another quest. Also, this will be a good opportunity to start Alfred Grimhand's Bar Crawl. Okay, so this is the bank we're gonna be using. We are going to need, what was it, 28 times three and 14 times three. Let's get like 150 planks. Actually, let's, let's actually calculate it out. So eight to 14 requires, uh, so requires 14 actions, which is going to be 14 times three is 42. And then it was 28 times three is 
quite a bit. Yeah, we'll just we'll just gather planks. I'm thinking too much about numbers. I just need to gather planks. We'll go ahead and start on world 302 and just go through. 86, so 86 plus 42 is 128. I need 128 minus 25, so 103 planks. That is four plus a little bit inventories of this. Okay. Okay, got all the planks I need. Now I need to gather... I think I need more nails, so we're gonna get more nails. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do this beginner clue as well. Uh, let's go down under this trapdoor so I can get myself boots. So as a boots and a bronze axe. Okay. Uh, boots are not right there. Where are the boots? There they are. Okay, boots got. Now for a bronze axe. All right got so far two steps let's go ahead and at least build the stash unit i need level 12 for that okay good to know um archmage cedrador okay that is in the direction i need to go hey casket all right let's see if i get anything good uh, i mean nature runes i'll take nature runes steel dagger i can sell that how much for 75 huh well i can sell it just not for much. I may as well drop it. It's not really that worth it. Water runes and nature runes, though. Nature runes especially are very good. Not many nails here, huh? I only need like 150, but there are like no nails here. I might have to jump to a different world. Yeah, there are like no nails. What if I go down a whole bunch of worlds? Nails? <laughs> Who's Who bought out all the, all the construction guide supplies? Okay, that's enough. That should be plenty. Oh, yes, while I'm here, I should definitely get the Clue Hunter stuff. I should honestly just get into the Clue Hunter gear right now before I uh, before I go do the rest of this. Nice. Clue Hunter stuff. Now let's go back to the monastery and get the cape that I need. Because, yes, there is a cape with this particular set. Okay, and then this cape that I'm looking for should be, yep, buried by these two willow trees. Clue Hunter Cloak. This is a good looking cape too. This is a really nice looking cape. I'm very happy that it counts as warm clothing. Okay, we're gonna build chair space. We're gonna do number two. Okay, and then we are going to remove chair. Yes, build, two. Nope, not examine. Remove, yes, build, chair. There we go. Remove. Yes. Build. Chair. All right. And one more level to go. Six more chairs to make. I believe this is the last inventory, if I'm doing my math right. Yep, this is the last inventory. Oh, I'm running out of nails. No. Hopefully I can finish in these nails. Oh, I think I can. I think I have exactly enough to do it. Okay. I have to do it this next one. Otherwise, I don't have uh, enough nails. No, come on. Literally one chair away. Literally one chair away. Ugh. all right, fine. Looks like I'm going back to Varrock a lot earlier than expected. That's a little upsetting. How much were one of these? 100 feathers? I need this many. Oh, I don't have enough coins. Uh-oh, did I just screw myself out of nails? Yikes. Oh, I definitely am unable to buy the Chronicle Teleport. I should have waited. Oh, why did I do that? I'm so stupid. Okay. Well then. Looks like we are walking back to the sawmill. So I can purchase five nails. I think I'm gonna have to do some thievery. Only level 12, huh? Okay, so that means I need to most likely fletch some arrow shafts on the way there. Uh, Yeah, I need three more levels. Oh, I need 30 gold. I just realized I need 30 gold to be able to get to Remington. I need to thieve. How much are these? Three coins each. I can buy five. I can buy seven. And now I have zero dollars. Um, Since we have our home teleport back, we're going to home tele to Lumbridge. And I want to thieve up to 250 gold. I just need some money. 250 sounds like a good, pro uh, good part. Level 29 and I'm still failing. Okay, okay, yeah, no, we're, that that's fine, that's fine. The amount of gold I have right now is fine. And I'm only saying that just because 
I should not be spending more time on this. I need to sell something. Okay, we're selling the pearls. I don't know why I haven't sold these yet, but we are selling them now. Oh my God, money. Oh my gosh, I have money now. I should have done this a long time ago. Yay, money! <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, 1300 gold. That feels so much better. I'm gonna grab the arrow shafts that I need as well. And then, yeah, it's just basically finish off, uh, finish off fletching and uh, go to Winter Tot. We're getting close. We're getting super close. All right, seven nails. Can I build one chair with seven nails? Let's find out. It almost, it, it that took, uh, yeah, no, I can't drop that. I don't want to drop that either. Okay, level 20 construction, level 20 construction. We are good on that front. Now it is time to get, um, I need two things. So I need to get the Clue Hunter shirt and then it'll be the um, walk to Winter Tot while getting fletching. Okay, 225, these are what, 100 each? So I need one, two, plus 25. Boom. Perfect amount. I'm not gonna have level 15 fletching. That's okay. I mean, I'm gonna be there literally until 99. I can start off being two fletching levels under. That won't be that big of a deal. Or I could just chop 52 logs, regular logs, and just deal with it now. Wouldn't be a bad idea. It's only two inventories. Yeah, I'll do that super fast. That's not gonna take very long at all. We'll just chop a whole bunch of trees, make a whole bunch of longbows, and then chop more trees, head over while we are fletching the longbows. Oh, hey, a beginner clue nest. We'll take that. We need those. Okay, there it is. Wonder why I didn't do it the first time. All right, we have five pieces of warm clothing, even though four only count. Uh, and it's time to just start doing winter tot. Okay, so I have the ax. I need this, this, and a hammer. I'm actually gonna put away the ball of wool for now. Actually, no, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to play with the cat right now with the ball of wool. And then I'm gonna put this in. Then we're gonna take eight cakes for right now. And we'll see how we do with this setup. All right, so welcome to Winter Tot. This is where I will be spending a good chunk of time. Okay, so I think I can get four. I know for sure I can get three crate trips. I think if I'm pushing it, I could get five, but I think I'm gonna stick with the three to four crates. I wanna have at least two full cakes for every Winter Tot, I'm thinking. Because I, I have almost gone through two full cakes per per winter tot. All right, time to see what I get from my chests. Or from my supply crates. All right, let's just go ahead and stand here. Yes. Hey, gold ore is nice. Salmon, let's go. Trout, okay. You know, the money is really the big star of that. Prep for another round. And that is going to be all for today. Once again, if you did enjoy this series and if you did enjoy this episode, please make sure you subscribe so that way you can stay tuned for the next episode. And next time, we will go in full swing to the Winter Talk Grind. See y'all later.